Guys, welcome back. We have another design vlog. We have some interesting design choices. We have the X carrier with um, all the fans in place. Big bottleneck for me. Grinding hard at Fusion. Follow along. Let's dig in. I'm gonna show you the prototype as well. Subscribe for more if you're into advanced uh, 3D printing, 3D modeling. So let's go. I usually have an answer to the question, but this time I'm gonna be cool. Here you can see the Wii Baby. For those of you who have been following, I've been really challenged by the X carrier and to make it a quick swap solution for, for that. And um, I have a very nice solution now, I think personally, but let me know what you think. Um, I'm gonna show you also the quick swap. So stay tuned for that. Almost all parts are in place. We need some end stops, I think. Uh, there might be something I've forgotten, but of course we need end stops. Uh, we don't have the sensorless homing at this point. And uh, I did not add a BL touch to this small printer. I don't see the need for any auto bed leveling on this size printer, but uh, let me know what you think. But anyway, let's move on. Here you can see the new fan system. We have a 40, um, 40 10 fan on the rear here. We have uh, some 30 10 fans on the side here. And we have the fan shroud. Let's open up the X carrier and have a look inside. So here you can see we have the X carrier, we have the fork, we have the wheels and whatnot. Uh, we have the tension screw, the hot end mount, and uh, the layer fan shroud. The hot end mount is also the fan shroud. Let's go inside and see. So this is what it looks like from this angle. So air coming in on this side, going down into the shroud here and down to the nozzle like that. Uh, I don't know if this works. To me it looks good, but let me know what you think. Um, we need to test it, of course. Uh, we have not yet <laughs> got the print out of this machine, so we need to do that. So these are just quick swaps. As you can see, they have the fan shroud on the hot end mount. The layer fan shroud is on the hot end mount. So this hot end mount is also the fan shroud for cooling the um, heatsink. So air comes down here. And also on the side, as you can see, airflow for cooling the layer fan, the, the layer, the filament. I mean, this is a very nice design, I think. Um, but of course I made it. So, uh, but I'm struggling for this for, for a long time, so let me know what you think. There's only one way to figure that out, and that is to test it. If we do want to print with a volcano, of course we need another fan shroud. And that's what's nice about having the fan shroud for the layer on the hot end mount. Because then we can just redesign this fan shroud, make it longer for the volcano. And if we want another hot end, let's say a mosquito or uh, something, then we make a fan shroud for that. I think we also are able to implement a direct drive here. It's a little bit tight. We will lose some white travel, but I think we can make it work. Let's go in from the side and see. So we have the 4010 fan on the top here, and it blows down into this shroud and air coming down and needs to exit in the front here. Now, if this works, it's some of the nicest design choices I've made in 3D printing, and I would like to implement that uh, on the weekend as well. So let me know what you think. If we don't get a heat creep with this fan system, it would be great, but let's just test it and see. Now, everything coming together very nicely. And this guy, also I want to talk about, and uh, I've been doing since the last time, I finally made the system here to tension the, the belt for the C-axis. As you can see, this moves up and down, so, uh, I can show you also on the printer later. Now guys, we are adding electronics to the printer. I made this panel for the bottom. 
This we can cut just in acrylic or whatever, uh, plywood, something. I cut one in acrylic, which I just mounted on uh, the printer. I can show you later. We also need to figure out where to place everything. Where should I have the extruder? Because it's gonna be a Bowden printer, first of all, and then have direct drive as a secondary option. I'm thinking about having the extruder like this. Over here, actually, just called goes clear, as we can see. Here it's uh, <laughs> yeah it's close but it's um, it's okay and if it's too close in real life we can move it a little bit longer down and then we can have also the spool the filament spool on on uh, the side here adding the electronics is always uh, the last uh, step and it's kind of boring because you just want to print but yeah we need to do that as well you know the silicon heater doesn't really come in uh, 190 by 170 we could spe special order it but i would like to get something off the shelf so 200 200 by 200 is like what we get so should we extend the printer so should we extend the y-axis should we make the build volume 190 by 190 or 190 by 200 what do you guys think this i would like feedback on so please let me leave a comment below so those are the parts which are new which have been a bottleneck for me not being able to deliver and now we have something to try to test so let's go and have a look at the printer here she is and uh, yeah so i added this acrylic panel down here which I just cut out on laser cutter. And I'm starting to place some electronics down here. This is the 12864 Mini LCD controller, which could be a nice option for this printer. And we have the X carrier with all the bells and whistles. Uh, of course, I'm gonna cut these uh, screws. I didn't have the, the right length screws. So here you can see the fan shroud. And the X carrier. I'm thinking about having uh, the spool holder on the rear here. Uh, we need to place the extruder. So I'm thinking about having the extruder here. Do we want to route the cables to the front here? Or do we want to route it to the back? So I'll feedback on that guys. So let's change the hot end. So we just loosen these two screws. Then we just grab the fans and push the hot end out like this that's all let's add this guy so I'll just make sure it's on top of the layer fan shroud so it slides in like that just take my screws and then tighten the bolts so this is everything so what do you guys think about that that's like everything you need to do if you want to change this guy now we need to melt some plastic it will be a print in the ne in the next vlog leave me a comment let me know what you think about the build volume about the end stops and about the x carrier and maybe it doesn't work but <laughs> at least we're gonna melt some plastic so yeah have a nice one ciao